Jones. So, it's really not that important a thing anyways. It's just something that it's, it's been getting on my nerves just a little bit. Because when you look back at how uh, YouTubers act and the trends that take place on this website, you see, I'm, I'm playing poker as well as doing this. So, again, forgive me for being a little bit, you know, unprofessional. Not that I'm a fucking professional anyways, not like I'm getting paid, right? Not like the people I'm about to start talking about. And this is just a random hangout, whatever. I was just kind of like looking for something to talk about, have a t some type of a talking point. And this so happens to be it. And uh, yeah, that's what it's going to be, is this. Video after video after video. And more often than not, they're clickbait. Remember when clickbait was a big thing? Well, it kind of still is, but you have to have your videos last at least 10 minutes to gain maximum ad revenue. And uh, I'm not sure how long this was a thing, but you see it more now than ever. You see a bunch of fucking parasites, a bunch of fucking people talking about the same fucking thing, whether it be related to anime, wrestling, sports, you name it. They're talking about it, but only for 10 minutes or longer. If the video lasts, especially, I was just watching one from WrestleTalk TV, and I didn't really, like, pay attention to how long their videos are up until now. So I looked at it, I'm like, oh, they're all 10 to 12 minutes long. And I'm just like, I wonder why this is. Obviously, it's because of the ad revenue. They're, all, they're already telling you things you already know. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, they, they're telling you shit you already know. But they label the fuck, they do, they use the Sean's View technique. They use the Sean's View technique. Title the video a certain thing, put up a fucking thumbnail, and, like, false info. And the thing is, throughout the whole ten minutes, again, I apologize, I'm doing, if you see me doing a little bit of this... It's because I'm playing a game as I'm talking to you, whoever the fuck is watching, if anybody at all. Um, it's fucking hilarious to me. Like, they'll, they'll title it one thing. They'll talk about other shit, thinking as if... Hey, thank you, exactly, Hill DJ, that's what's up. See, that's exactly what I'm getting on. They talk about everything else other than the thing that you want to hear about. Right? Until the very end. And when they talk about it, it's only for like 15 to 20 fucking seconds. And it's shit you've already known. It's shit that you've already known. These guys are fucking parasites. Uh, I'm gonna call out the dragon community. And I could get some hate for this, and I don't give a fuck if I do or if I don't. Uh, the Geekdom 101s, the Mastar Medias, all these fucking guys. Uh, what's the other one? I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting a couple, but it doesn't matter because they all use the same fucking technique to get views. They tell you shit that you already know. Theories that you've already probably come up with on your own. And they do this, and it's just like, oh man, you, you gotta get a chuckle out of it. It's like, these motherfuckers are parasites. They really are, dude. There's a YouTuber who spent 50 minutes reviewing Raw and not a live video either, and he rants for 20 minutes at a time. That's fine, but that's him putting out content that he believes in. I ain't spending 70k, man. You got you. I got you. Got you. Goddamn, man. I ain't playing around with that. But um, I'm talking about the mother. But these are the videos you need to watch out for. They're gonna put up a nice looking thumbnail. Cool, thank you, must respect, brother. Shout out to Dan. Um, but they, they'll put out a fucking nice little thumbnail for you, as always. We're used to this as YouTubers, right? You get that nice little thumbnail, looks all pretty and shit. But then you get the fucking false title, and that's the hook, line, and sinker right there. You get that hook right there, it's like, ooh. You know, like, I was just watching, what was it called? Uh, Vegeta's getting a new power, and you watch it. And you're like... <laughs> I read the manga, so I already know all this shit, right? 
but you think they want you to think that they know something that you don't already know. You know what I mean? That's how they try to get you. And the thing I just mentioned is that they won't even talk about what their title is until the very end of the video. Until the very end of the goddamn video. And they only talk about it, like I said, for 10, 15, to 20 fucking seconds. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all motherfuckers need to get a real job, for real. And when you see the people, the, the actual content creators that are doing this shit, you understand why they do what they do. Because they can't be employed in a regular, normal, normal fucking environment. They can't. They just can't. You look at them and you know that they got mental issues. I understand this. I get it. But don't lie to the fucking people. Don't lie to the fucking people. Like, what the fuck, man? They're, they're, you're lying to people just to get their money. It's, it's bullshit. Did I hear about Lars Sullivan taking it in the... Uh, uh, no, I don't, but I wouldn't doubt it. He's in the wrestling business, I mean. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to take this guy's money. I mean, I already had him at the get-go. I should have called this sooner. But, um, what's up, Cubix? I mean, let me know if you want in. If you want in, I can get you in. Anybody that wants in, wants to talk about this, uh, feel free. His gay porn career was on... <laughs> really? Are you kidding me? This has to be fake. That has to be fake. You're clickbaiting me right now, motherfucker. <laughs> That's the gay porn career. Legit. <laughs> There's no way that shit. <laughs> that sounds more like a comedy to me than anything Aha. else. What is this? Yep, it looks like a chocolate ice cream, but in reality, it's a shit ice cream. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I don't want to look it up. I really don't. I mean, I think this is one thing I think I'm going to take your word on. But, I mean, you guys, do you guys all know what I'm talking about? You see them. They're everywhere. Ten-minute videos. Ten-minute videos. Ten-minute videos. It's always a fucking a thumbnail, a fucking very promising title, and then a ten to maybe 12 minutes, 13 minutes at best. So I'm, I'm, what the point I'm trying to make is this. When you see that the video is only 10 to 13 minutes long, and the thumbnail sounds and looks... You know, the, 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 the thumbnail and the title sounds and looks too good to be true. That's because it is too goddamn good to be true. It's bullshit. They're going to fucking hook you in and try to fucking get you to watch eight to nine minutes of shit that you don't even want to fucking hear about. Thank you. It's the, the ad revenue. Exactly. Exactly. These motherfuckers can go broke if they want to. They can have at that shit. Talking about the guys I'm talking about in the fucking this video here and these motherfuckers that are playing out of their goddamn minds right here. And sure enough, this motherfucker coughed up almost 200k chips. Two to six, whatever. You know what I mean? That, that's fine, but I'm saying, like, you can notice it. It's like blatant. Excuse me, it's blatant. You see it 10 minutes. It'll be usually it's 10 minutes and some change, like 10 minutes, 30 seconds. 10 minutes and 45 seconds. But you'll see it, you know, 10, 11 minutes. It won't ever exceed 13 minutes. And it, it, again, like, you watch their fucking videos and you'll see them. Every single video they have is basically under 15 minutes. Fucking people are pathetic, man. Absolutely fucking pathetic, man. No respects for me. Mr. Boss, FTW, I never heard of this motherfucker, but there's a lot of people, I mean, I'm sure that this is like old news to a lot, well, shout out to Scott, by the way, again, I'm trying to do two things at once, so, but it's fucking ridiculous, like, it, 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 this, this website has become so, it's turned normal people into fucking prostitutes, that, I mean, that's the way I see it. They've been turned into fucking whores. They really have. It's just like, I can get paid to do this. It's always nerds. I can get paid to do this. You gotta be kidding me. 
All I gotta do is talk for 10 minutes, say nothing, put a nice thumbnail and a nice title, and I'm going to get some money? Oh, boy! I'm gonna do that right now! I can't believe I didn't stumble upon this shooter!
But anything over two, your show did good just because it's professional wrestling. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's like, yeah, I, I see your point. Oh, no, I get you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm just trying to be entertaining, you know, and I'm not trying to, like, become fluent in their, you know, their native tongue. That's all I'm saying. But I feel you. God damn, can I get a hand to play, please? What the fuck? I may have to stop this game so I can fucking concentrate because this is not easy. These motherfuckers are playing like they're on a speed dial. Fuck it. It's fake money anyway. Why easy? Pourtant, j'ai un guide pour m'aider pour les bonus. You got a little bit of the bucket, Scott? You want to come on here live and take a few sips with your boy? Drink a little bit of the bubbly. Let us know. Give us your review of a little bit of the bubbly. For General Jerry, let him know. A little bit of the bubbly. Because he doesn't like when Jericho sets a little bit of the bubbly. Once a week on a Wednesday night. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. No, I'm about love for Jerry. I'm just talking shit. I still gotta do his response video. I still have to do that. I've been sleeping on that shit. This dude got a pair of sevens, I got a pair of nines. He's got a straight draw though. And of course the straight draw comes. Should I be shocked? Nah, not really. Yeah, that's and that has nothing to do with me. That has absolutely nothing to do with me. That's just YouTube's thing. Like it's not like my bandit or anything, so don't blame me for that one. Can't blame me, I don't think you blame me anyways, but yeah, I'm gonna stop this because I can't do both of these at one time. This is frustrating. Leveled up. Level 221 on this motherfucker. Alright, so now you all have my undivided attention. With my ambient light via my television screen and my laptop monitor. I'm definitely going to drink a little bit of the bubbly on New Year's Eve and get drunk. Do it tonight. Come on here live and do it, do it tonight, Scott. I want to see, I want to see somebody actually drink a little bit of the bubbly that's outside of the wrestling business. I watched Ryback do it, but he's definitely trying to get a job with AEW, so he's going to say anything's good when it concerns AEW. So can't trust his, uh, can't trust his few food reviews, you can't trust his, uh, drink reviews, none of that shit, because he's definitely, he definitely has an agenda. Definitely has an agenda. All of a sudden, this dude was all about eating red meats and, you know, animal meat. Now, all of a sudden, he, just because he does one podcast with Austin Aries, converts to fucking full vegan status. Get the fuck out of here. But he's not pandering. Posing for pictures with Cody Rhodes. You mean to tell me he doesn't have an agenda? Says he's going to be wrestling again in 2020? Bambi, let me know if you want into yeah, anybody can join this. I don't care, man. Just let me know if you want in. You got something to say. We don't have to talk about these fucking, you know, these prostitutes here on fucking YouTube. You know what I mean? I just, that was my main talking point. Is like these, these fucking people. For anybody who was calling anybody like pathetic back in the day, like it's reached a whole new level of pathetic. <laughs> it really has. It's like, goddamn. These motherfuckers out there, goddamn, well, they're not out there, goddamn, mys. They're, they're smart in a way, but it's like, when you look at it, it's like, really, dude, 10 minutes? And you can tell, like, they rush, they're like, oh, I gotta say this, I gotta say this, I gotta say that, I gotta say this, 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 that, oh, no, no, no. and then they get to the, the main talking point, the title of the video, and it's like, bah, 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 bah. they sped through the whole video, and they didn't say anything. The whole 10 minutes, they said nothing. They've said nothing. They've read off a fucking dirt sheet. They've, they've told you shit you've already known. Shit you could already fucking look up for yourself. You don't even need to. They don't even have banter 
good. Then they, they don't even address their own comments. That's how you know the fucking the, the. I don't know why people follow these motherfuckers. You you would think that people would follow people that actually interact with their audience, right? Seeing as it's a fucking live forum, more often than not, you would think that. But no, they did. They worship these fucking retards that fucking put up stupid fucking thumbnails where they're like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Doing stupid shit with big ass colorful letters, fucking fruity looking faggy shit. They do all that and then then they get a fucking massive audience because of that. What the fuck? Like, what's wrong with people? I don't get it, man, at all. I don't. I don't get it, dude. As soon as I see that, as soon as I see a goofball with a fucking, with their mouth open, it's like insert, you know what I mean? Like, with the big fucking yeah. colorful background, the Fortnite looking shit. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You're a pussy. Dude, I'm, I'm not watching your shit. That's yeah. fucking queer as fuck. <laughs> Can't handle that shit. <laughs> oh, that mother. Nah, he ain't fat. He's not fat at all. That dude's legit 6'1, 6'2, 300, bro. I do too. I want to see them. I want to see something different. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I gotta be honest with you. Right now, like as we speak, right now, I like AEW. Raw and SmackDown are shit. Complete shit. I said this on Jerry's show and I stand by it. It's the facts. When you watch Raw and fucking SmackDown, I feel like they've went back. They've reverted. They haven't progressed. They've regressed. Back to like 93, 94, when you had fucking Doink the Clowns and fucking, you know, what, the Goon and the fucking, like, Duke the Dumpster Drozzy and all this shit. Like, what the fuck is all this shit? This is Monday Night Raw? They might be undercover. Most likely, yeah, that's probably what it is. I mean, the gaming community and shit like that is fucking. You'd be surprised how many fucking homos are in the gaming community. People you didn't think were fucking gay or fucking gay. But, um, yeah, like, WWE and, the, like, Raw and SmackDown, just fucking terrible. Terrible, man. Anybody saying any of their shows have been good, it's just like, they have their head up their ass. They really do. NXT is fantastic. AEW, they do have their cringe moments. Um, don't get me wrong, man. They do have their fucking cringy moments where the show's fucking terrible. But then they'll come back with something that's really fucking good. So you keep watching. It's a learning fucking process for them. Again, the company's only been around for a couple months. So you gotta give them time. The bigger names they sign, like a Ryback, that's still a big name, man. The guys probably, in this era of WWE, had he not told them to go fuck themselves, he probably would be a fucking two-time WWE champion as we speak. Um, the fuck else? Um, but as far as wrestling goes, the product that I'm enjoying the most right now, and I didn't think I would, and at the, at, once they fired Jim Cornette, I was like, I'm not watching this shit anymore. But I'm glad I decided to go back on my word and actually watch it. NWA Power is really good, man, and I think people should start paying more attention to it. And I alluded to it again on Jerry's fucking show that I think that they're developing a working relationship with AEW as a result of the fallout with Jim Cornette. I didn't mention that on his show, but that year and now. Um, I think that they're going to start where he's, Cole Cabana was doing commentary for AEW, but he signed to NWA. Unless his contract is over, I don't know. That I don't know. Um, but you got Marty Skrull in at, at NWA. And he's only signed there short term for like a couple months, and then he's gonna be a free agent again, from what I understand. So, what's up, Hope Pool? Yeah, there's a bunch. I mean, you got John Moxley going over the New Japan for Wrestle Kingdom. You got Jericho going over to New Japan for Wrestle Kingdom. They're cross promoting all over the place. So it's like their team. It's almost like they're teaming up. I, I, I would like to include Impact, but I can't. They, there is a good amount of talent there, I will say that. I will say that. I'm not going to bullshit anybody. Uh, 
Tessa Blanchard is fucking awesome. She's the only female in the business that I believe in right now that could actually, like, beat the fuck out of somebody. I do. I mean, she's wrestling fuck. She's probably going to win their world title, the male's world title. And I'm all for it because I think Sammy Callahan is a piece of shit. I really do. I think he's good for nothing. I, I don't know what the fuck he's good at. He's he's a fat fucking slob who has a raspy fucking voice. He, he does sound like a scumbag, don't get me wrong. You would love to see a fucking woman beat the fuck out of him. You know what I'm saying? Because he looks like a motherfucker that beats the fuck out of women. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you want to see her beat the shit out of him, but that's the only thing he's got going for him. Other than that, terrible. Rob Van Dam looks like shit. Um, who the fuck else they got? They got Tennille Dashwood, who's hot as fuck. She's basically what Britt Baker should be. RBD's new girlfriend, he's got two girlfriends, because they're like running a threesome type thing going on, but I don't... She, yeah, she looked good and everything, but she got the fake ass, you know what I mean? It's a big, nice, round ass, but it's a fake ass. You know what I mean? You can tell it's butt implants. That's the thing I don't like. MLW and AEW, aren't they already working together? Isn't Kenny Omega their world champion? Correct me if I'm wrong. Or he was very recently. Didn't he beat... Uh... I know your feelings on AEW, Cubics, but you're wrong, though. You're going to be proven wrong. Let's just say that. That bitch is fake everywhere. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, you know, because the ass is the thing she shows off the most. She starts shaking it on the apron and shit like that. I appreciate it, but I can tell that it's fake. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a fake titty guy either. I don't like big fake tits. I like big natural fucking tits. Then when the girl's riding on top of you, the fucking titties, they flop and they smack you in your fucking face. I like this. I'm a freak like that. And I can see that happening, Cubics. I can definitely see that happening. Um, but Big Cass is not doing anybody any favors, man. Sending death threats to people. What the fuck's he doing, bro? Too too good of a talent to be doing that stupid shit. But again, he has mental problems, so... You know what I'm saying? I don't think Joey Janela sucks ass. Maybe behind the behind the curtain he sucks some ass, maybe. But if he, he's got talent, if he just bulks himself up, make himself look more believable, I don't see anything wrong with him. I agree with that, Dark Horse. I definitely do. Enzo doesn't need anybody. Enzo was a star on his own. Once they separated them, he became the biggest star. He really did. Backstage segments, yeah, backstage segments, and, you know, all the comedic stuff he can do, he's, he's fucking fantastic on the microphone. You make him the manager of somebody, you know what I mean? Imagine the back and forth fucking promo battles Enzo would have with MJF, Jesus Christ. I agree. I agree. Cubics, you got the link if you want to get in here and say your piece. I don't need to say it for you. And it shouldn't be dead, but do you know what? The reason why it's dead is because you got guys that are you're promoting as main event talent that could still be on that level if you had them as the Cruiserweight Champion. Like a fucking Finn Balor, like a Seth Rollins, guys like that. You throw that cruiserweight title on one of those guys, and automatically it becomes a mainstream thing. Just like WCW did with Dean Malenko, Chris Jericho, Benoit, fucking Juventud Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero. You know what I'm saying? All these guys went on later on to become world champions, but they made their mark being cruiserweights in WCW. You know what I mean? It's brain dead. Just, just... I don't know, I don't understand why people would see that as being a demotion. You're the Cruiserweight champion. You're a fucking champion, goddammit. Look at 
at all the legends that have held the junior heavyweight titles over in fucking Japan. You got Will Ospreay, fucking Jushin Thunder Liger. You know what I mean? Guys like that. What the fuck are they talking about? He tweeted Tony Khan. What, the, what did he tweet them? Mandy Leon from Ring of Honor. I have no idea. Leon, Mandy Leon, I have no idea who that is. I've never heard of that name. What do you mean this setup? Get on your fucking cell phone. <laughs> it takes five minutes. The fuck you guys running off of fucking, uh... What type of internet you motherfuckers is using these days? I mean, that sounds like a hot stripper name and all. I've just never heard of her. I'm assuming it's a her. Right? It sucks that they have the fucking chat down below the fucking actual video, so it's like... I don't like it. It should be side by side the way it used to be. But who am I, right? I'm not the one making 10 minute videos just to get fucking maximum ad revenue off shit. Russo tweeted he is not looking for a job but wants to help AEW out. He said the same thing in 2014 about WWE when people were criticizing, first starting to criticize the creative direction of the company. So yes, he definitely is looking for a fucking job. Man, that guy, you want to talk about parasites, bro. He's, he's one of the fucking main ones. That fucking guy is a parasite. Really? He must not be too go, doing too well financially these days. I don't really watch Ring of Honor, so that's the reason why I don't know who the fuck these people are. So, yes, you're right. I do have a lot of catching up to do, but will I do that catching up? Probably not. There's too much wrestling on TV as it is. I can't pay attention to everything at one time, nor do I want to. The only things I want to pay attention to, really, the only things I look forward to, as far as professional wrestling is concerned, is watching NXT on Wednesdays and AEW on Wednesdays. Fuck Monday Night Raw and fuck SmackDown. And if I, if I didn't, if, if my family didn't want to come over and watch the pay-per-views, I probably wouldn't watch their fucking pay-per-views either. Talking about, you know, WWE's pay-per-views. Who is it that said I should make the red cup a part of my routine? Well, that kind of is becoming one. Well, he barely gets any views on his YouTube channel, so I can understand why yet. What does he, what does he get, like? Well, he did that shit to himself anyway. He gets two, three thousand views a bit, but then what does he put up, like, you know, ten, ten videos a day? Again, these are people I don't watch anymore, 